Hey friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we will see how to move a button or for that matter any widget on touching it in your Android app. So it could be useful when you are designing some kind of gaming or some kind of layout where it is like pretty dynamic. So it could be a pretty interesting to do so. So let's begin. We will create an empty project and uh, move a moving button. I just moving button app. You can name it anything. Click finish and wait for the environment to load. Once the environment loads, I think I can start the app in an emulator in parallel on the right hand side. Let my emulator come up. Yeah, but I will start in, in my code as well. The design of this uh, app is pretty simple and easy. We will just need a projector text view by default. We can remove it. We don't need this and we will just put one button and we can put it somewhere in center and give any constraints it doesn't matter and we will move it in the uh, in our main code and name this as moving button yeah this this i will repeat this point that this is applicable applicable for any particular any other widget as well but i will be just showing you with the button uh, like how when, whenever you bring your uh, touch over the button the button will move to some other location so how to do that moving button id yeah you can name this again anything it doesn't matter so app has come up in the emulator but i will minimize as i don't need it any uh, right now i'll go to my java code and over here i i will create a local variable called button yeah and i'll associate this button with the okay i'll probably make it as a button move yeah i'll name it as a variable called button move and uh, i'll associate it with the final by id r dot id dot uh, i think moving button is the name which i kept over there uh, the id of the button yeah and now in this button we'll add a listener uh, touch listener so set on touch listener this one and then new on view on touch listener yeah so this will by default give you a method called on touch and whatever you do here uh, that will be responsible for uh, you can do any action here so over here what we will do is we will move the button so we will say for example we move the button set uh, yeah so there are different uh, options set right set left set bottom set top and all those things so one by one we can do uh, one of these so say for example first I start with uh, uh, set top let me start with uh, the top part which is basically a movement on the vertical side so for set top i can move it probably a bit up so which will be 200 and also button move dot set bottom and this could be probably say for example so you can try with these numbers where you want to place and all and of course you can even take it uh, dynamically based on the width of the view i here yeah, i'm hard coding to keep it simple uh yeah and also i can set one by one the right and left so probably i can set the left and which is basically okay i'm moving it to the extreme left so when i say set left it will be the left edge from the so if i scroll here and uh, uh if i see the okay it's, it's still fetching the documentation so it is basically if i could show you here No, it's, it's not coming up, but you can say refer to the documentation. Okay, it came finally. So if, if you see the documentation here, uh, no, so I think uh, the documentation is not coming. But nevertheless, what it will do is it will just set the leftmost from the left hand side. The uh, from the left hand is the distance of the button. So right now is I think it's one fifty two, which we are changing to somewhere around hundred. So similarly, what we can do is for the set right and that we can set probably something like that. yeah so these numbers i have tried before uh and so this will be fine and probably what we can do is we can also move it to different places okay so let me do one thing let me quickly put a if button move get top get top and this will return in so if this is equal to or let us say if this is not equal to if this is not equal to 200 then let's do this whatever we have done until now 
Else, uh, let's assume that it is it is right now at this position 200, 341, whatever. So we can do one thing. We can in the else part, else do this. That is to move it somewhere on the probably a bit more bottom. So we'll move it to uh, 400 and here probably 540, here 300 and here 560. Yeah. So that's all. Let me sim uh, run it in the emulator and see how it comes up. Uh, perfect so it seems like the app has come up and yeah so button is in the default position and we can click it here perfect so we can see it's moving right uh, it moves I mean first it goes to this position 2340 and then it quickly moves to this one because uh, uh, I, I, I'm not sure why it is moving so quickly it should wait for the next turn probably because I'm doing it in the emulator so I think uh, based on my mouse click it's taking it as a double click uh, most likely so what i can do quickly is uh, i can just uh, comment out these lines and see how it happens of course this will always go to 200 here and then stick over there yeah perfect yeah so definitely it will not be in a continuous stream the way i'm trying to do over here uh, this if else it will be in some kind of logic that will take care of this uh, quick moment but more or less uh, this will uh, this is just I wanted to show how easy it is like in many of the games, uh, small simple games you would have seen. Uh, they keep moving the widget all around and this is how they do. Uh, yeah. So they have to just, say, you have to just set the position of the button. Although it's not recommended to be honest uh, uh, from the layout uh, in the context. But yeah, uh, if you have to do something quickly, you can definitely do it like this. Yeah. And this button will move based on the position you have set. So that's all. I hope this uh, video is useful to you if you have any questions or suggestions then please put it in the comment section and if you like this video then please subscribe to my channel thank you and have a nice day bye